Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing our Coventry City Peterborough preview, um, review. Um, as you can see on the screen we won 4-1, it was a uh, pretty comfortable um, result, you know, we all, it's pretty easy to be fair. Um, you know, us going 1-0 up, what a goal from Hyam, um, it, was, it was brilliant. Um, you know, it was it was from a 35 yarder, it was, um, yeah, it was pretty good. You know, say it's 35 yard and you think, goal, what a goal. But <laughs> it's such a bad keeping from Peterborough. And you can tell why they're down there. You can tell why they're down there. And then also, and then um, 10 minutes later, Matt Godden with a brilliant finish. Brilliant curler one to bottom corner. It was, it was a really good finish by his standards. Um, pretty happy. Um, Tune it up inside 25 minutes. We say, we thought it was going to be a run in. But then George Grant for Peterborough, brilliant goal, brilliant goal from him, from his, for, his, for his point of view, brilliant goal. And you can just tell, you know, when they scored, you know, we need the next goal. And for the majority of the second half, we were like, we need a next goal, we need the next goal. Um, but then it came with a known goal for Nathan Thomas Thompson, and we were like, yeah, it, we were looking good. Um, we've comfortable win 3-1. And then Matt Gordon for his brace from assist from um Jokeres. But it's a brilliant win for Coventry, um a massive win for Cov to be fair. You know, we I was saying in the predictions that and the preview that he did have to win it. You know, I know it's Peterborough but we still had to win it. Um it was a bit some yeah, you know, the first 15 minutes, we were just trying to settle down. We needed a goal quick. We got a goal inside 15 minutes from a screamer, Matt Godden. Yeah, it was it was a it was a comfortable display in the end, but it was just you know, at two one, anything could happen. Peter would get a goal, they could get another goal, and it could be the other way round, and we could be you know absolutely blop um blop um absolutely bottling it, but. You know, in the end, Coventry, we get the job done. 4 1 win. Um, away from home, which is brilliant. And that's when we've broken so many records there. Like, we've beaten every um, playoff team, every promoted team. And um, beat Peterborough home and away. Um, both, you know, by the scoreline of three goals. So, pretty comfortable. Um, so, a brilliant, brilliant win for Coventry City. Um, can we move on to the next game against QPR? We needed a win. That's put our form a little bit higher, a little bit brilliant, more brilliant for our point of view. Um, you know, now it's a win, loss, drew, loss, draw. So that's one win, two draws, two losses. So not bad. That's five points. So that's a brilliant win for our point of view. Pretty brilliant view for our um um whatever. Um, like yeah, it's a brilliant win for us. Um, and it's it's looking good if we can just bring this momentum into QPR on Saturday, then anything could happen. But at the moment, I'm just thinking Peterborough, they're they're solid side. Coventry, we've done better than them today, um, or yesterday even. Um, so I'm recording this a little bit late, but. Yeah, brilliant win for Kov. Um, but yeah, should we move on to how close I was to the actual lineup? So we want to talk about each player. So in goal for Kov was Wilson, and um, and I was right. Um, ben Wilson. I did. I didn't. I know it was Ben. I didn't know it was Ben. Ben Wilson. Um, got that correct. I'm happy with that. It's pretty obvious, you know. Ben Wilson's not injured, so I don't I don't see why we were gonna play a different keeper than our number one in the sticks. But and I was so close. This this is why um I think I got this lineup wrong because I thought we would have gone four three. Oh, we did. I did go four three four two one. I did. No, no. <laughs> No, I said on my formation a three four two one, but I meant a three four one two. Oh god, I'm a I'm a numpty. I must have changed it back to But yeah, so I went for a uh, three four. I said it's in the back strike strike. So yeah, you can understand. Um, but yeah, I went for a different formation. That's why I got this wrong. I went for a three four one two, and 
the actual formation was a 3-4-2-1. So that's why I got some wrong. But um, in this centre back partnership, as um, as Mathai seen was doubtful or just like injured, um, I got this right. I put Hyam, Drake, Clark, Salter, and Rose. Um, I got that right. You know that's you know if one of their defenders got injured, Clark Salter would come in and do it a bit but yeah it's a brilliant brilliant uh, it's good to a good center back prediction oh, i'm happy with that but let's go to the right wing back and i said todd kane and i've got that right as well so not a bad start but in the center mid i put jordan shipley and kelly i got jordan shipley was left wing back um so i got him to play and i was right and kelly um it wasn't even on the bench i think he was the injured one i think he was injured yeah that was my, so I should not, I should have known that because I, I I looked before this before before the preview I looked who's out and who's not and I must have you know put Kelly by accident but yeah on left wing back I put Jody Jones and it was Shipley um to be fair Jody Jones was a bit of a controversy one I was thinking you know we wanted to go more attacking I think we should have started him to be fair I don't think we should have started him but I was thinking that we could start him. Um, and I put Callum O'Hare, and I didn't put Jamie Allen because I sort of playing a one, uh, one two, yeah. So in the, so I got that wrong. But um, instead of Jokerez was Jamie Allen, and I got Matt Gordon correct, and he's on fire, ten goals this season. Um, but you got a brace, he did really well, Matt Gordon. He's a cracking player, but I don't. <sighs> Against QPR, I would like to. Sp I would like for us to play a three four two one, uh, three four one two. To play two cent two strikers because I think we need it. We need it a little bit more. I think we do need a um yeah we do need a uh, strike a double striker against QPI. It's gonna be difficult. But yeah, um this is a final part of this. Let's just look at the table, see how we're doing. Um every game has played. Um so. Currently, Fulham, uh, we're ninth. We've climbed one spot, and we're one point off Stoke City, who have who we have a game on hand on, and we're playing them on Tuesday the twenty fifth. So we're nine days time. We're playing them. That's probably one of the biggest games, as you can tell. Huddersfield slipping points, so they drop out of the uh, playoffs. So we're now five points off Middlesbrough in six. Yeah, not not the greatest, but. If you, it's not it's not that bad, you know. We're five points off um, Middlesbrough. They have two games in hand. If we win both of our games, then we go ahead of them. So we're in a really good spot. So West, so West Brom, we could be getting in the playoffs. We could be getting into the playoffs, which I'm buzzing about. If we can just beat QPR, and let's see who plays, because there's some games on so Preston Sheffield United Fulham Birmingham Reading Luton and Hull City Blackburn so we have got none of those teams that are playing we have none of those teams who are playing that's really good for us um but yeah that wraps up the video the preview uh, the review um a really good result for Coventry City and loving life 4-1 win over Peterborough um I'm maybe thinking that people aren't the best. They're not the best, but to get the job done away from home on Saturday at three o'clock, brilliant result. You know, going back to Cobb, very happy, and um, brilliant stuff from the boys and the Sky Blue Army marching on. And the playoffs is in sight. We just need to win more games. We just need to start to just do what we're doing. Um, apart from the last like four or five games we kept drawing, but we can go on a bit of a momentum run. That was a big win against um, um, I don't even know. <laughs> that was a big win against Peterborough. Um, and yes, we got QPR to, on Saturday the twenty second. So I'm happy about that. Let's hopefully we can beat them. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more previews. And hopefully the Sky Blues can go marching on. Come on, Sky Blue Army.